What first got you into art? Well, my father, mm -hmm. um, I, I was lucky. I had just wonderful, beautiful parents. My father um, was very, very talented. Mm -hmm. He didn't paint as an income or for a living, but he painted for his pleasure mm -hmm. and for, I suppose you'd call it a hobby. Mm -hmm. I was young, and I would sit and watch him. Mm -hmm. And I learned my colors that way. Okay. I learned colors that way. And um, he would talk. But another very, very big feature of my life was he also loved the beauty of nature. He loved mm -hmm. the beauty of flowers. And he would put us in the car. I just had another, I had a brother. Mm -hmm. There were just two of us and, of course, my mother. And he would drive into the country and he would stop in front of a field mm -hmm. and he'd say, he'd, he'd explain, like, if, if, if you saw, there was a purple flower and I can't think what the name was, it was it was spiky, it was more like a weed. We could go into a, an area where there'd be nothing but um, fields of, of, of weeds. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he would show you how the colors will blend together with the grasses and the wheat or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I learned a love of nature from him. <laughs> That's wonderful. And he loved his garden. He had beautiful, beautiful garden. I was exposed to all different kinds of scenery, mm -hmm. which I love, because in general, none of my paintings are inside paintings. Just occasionally I might do a, a table or something. But most everything that I love to do mm -hmm. is done outside, because I think God's gift to us with the nature and the trees and the flowers and the sky mm -hmm. is something that I love to paint. I can incorporate what I see mm -hmm. in my paintings. So I notice in a lot of your paintings you have a lot of recurring elements like the wisteria, um, the ocean side. Are you ever, which is very re reminiscent of the New England scenery, do you ever draw inspiration from where you currently live in Southern California? Um, what a wonderful question. Um, I'm not a person who likes to paint the mountains. Mm -hmm. I much prefer to paint um, the flowers or the... Somebody um, recently asked me why I paint the door mm -hmm. uh, in a painting. Mm -hmm. And it isn't the door, it's the paint, it's what you can put in front of the door. Mm -hmm. It's the pots of flowers or the shadows. The shadows will come from a door or what you cascade mm -hmm. uh, over and around. Mm -hmm. So basically, I think probably would, when your question was so interesting, no, I think more of my, um, basically more of what I have in, in, inside of me would have come from Boston, would have yes. come from um, uh, the sceneries that I saw there. Do you ever miss New England? Yes, but I love being here. Yeah. I feel I've had the best of both worlds. I've been very lucky. <laughs> what do you do now when you are starting a new piece to jumpstart your creative process? Do you rifle through your old photographs? Or what, what kind of lends itself to the ignition of a new piece? I try very hard not to do something like a painting that has turned out well. I try to, to vary it, but it's hard because um, I do like certain colors, mm -hmm. as probably any artist, you have your, your favorite. So tell me about when you first began painting, what medium did you use? Always oil. I've, always oil? I've all, I started with oil and I've always uh, just only painted in oil. What is it about the oil medium that it is, attracts you so in much. oil paint, you can mix mm -hmm. and you can go over and you can correct something. Okay. Uh, that's the pleasure of oil. Yes. What was your first painting like? What, was, what did it look like? Oh, I think it was probably a bowl of flowers. Yeah? <laughs> Just a still life. What catalyzed your, your entry into art? What, what caused you to pick up the brush 30 years ago? Well... And a situation where my father passed away mm -hmm. at a young age. 
And um, when my mother was breaking up the house, they mm -hmm. had a beautiful house, we had a beautiful house, I took all his paintbrushes and a few other supplies mm -hmm. and um, I kept them for a while and then mm -hmm. that's what started it, I started to use his brushes. Your first painting was likely a bowl of flowers, so how is your your style of all? That's, that's terrifically, another very good question. <clears throat> um, I, 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 I have always painted um, sort of uh, with, lot, with uh, nothing dark or harsh. Mm -hmm. And I started when I started painting, I was painting too pale, too pastel, okay. much too. And uh, some, some, somebody, and I know who he was. He was in. He was a graphic artist. Mm -hmm. And he said a sentence to me, which I really can't repeat on, on, on uh, <laughs> I, I really can't repeat. And it was a wonderful sentence, and I started to paint stronger and darker. Okay. And I have, I've, I've come to the point where I do paint strong, much stronger now. Mm -hmm. And I have developed a style which um, people ask me all the time if I have some friends who are artists or... I take. I also, to this day, take classes mm -hmm. in painting, and the teacher is utterly amazed. And she's a very, very talented person. And she says, "How have you come to this? How have you?" I mesh my colors. I try to put colors. Uh, I just keep integrating my colors, mm -hmm. and um, and I love to do it. What is it about impressionism that you love? Uh, I love that. Um, it's um, a more casual way of painting. It's not mm -hmm. so contrived mm -hmm. as you might say in Romanticism or in the Renaissance painting. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, it's just, uh, it flows easy. It, to me, Impressionism, painting flows easier. Mm -hmm. When you are putting this paint to canvas, what are the primary emotions that you always hope your viewer will feel upon looking at your artwork? Well, I hope that they'll uh, get a, get a feeling of the of the pleasure of it of the, mm -hmm. of the um, uh, I I tell you I think in this world, unfortunately, mm -hmm. there is so much sadness. There is so much war, there is so much strife, there is so much unpleasantness, there is so much unrest. Mm -hmm. I would never entertain pa painting that way. Mm -hmm. uh, my, I want to paint the more enjoyable, the more pleasant side of life. And I hope that when somebody looks at my painting, they get a feeling of, of calmness, of, of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And not and, and and just be taken away from what what is it happens in, in this world mm -hmm. that is so sad. Yes. What is the the nicest thing or the most constructive thing that somebody has said to you about your artwork? When the teacher said to me, "I wish I could paint like you do." <laughs> <laughs>